How it's made. Motorcycles. Why do motorcycles capture people's hearts? And what is it about motorcycles that makes people a community and club around it? Motorcycles are designed to be eye-catching, shaped to make you want to see them, look them up, and pause as you pass by to make them look good. From the beginning, motorcycles were a bit intriguing because of their small size but high speed. As the design improved, the form of the motorcycle included not only a performance aspect, but also a design that made the motorcycle visually appealing. From the bike artwork to fairing shapes, headlights, wheel spokes, and even riding positions, everything is rough and evokes the feeling of being ready for anything. Most of us still have a wild side in us, and the motorcycle design and looks are intended to appeal to that part of our personality, and this tactic works very well. It seems to go. In 1901, Engineering Magazine described the motorcycle as a form of entertainment that can only be appealed to the most enthusiastic mechanical eccentrics. Last year, 4 million motorcycles were used in the United States alone. Whether it's trusted as the primary mode of transportation, used to provide weekend recreation, speeding up with soup for racing, or being exhibited as an antique, around the world, millions of people have shown that novelty is undoubtedly strong. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, How It's Made. Before jumping into the video, if you're new here, please consider subscribing to our channel and also hit the bell icon to get a notification whenever we upload a video. That said, let's begin. Step 1. Raw Materials The main raw materials used in the manufacture of motorcycle bodies are metals, plastic, and rubber. The motorcycle frame, like the wheels, is almost entirely made of metal. The frame can be covered with plastic. The tires are made of rubber. The sheet is made of a synthetic material such as polyurethane. The power system consists of a four-stroke engine, a carburetor that converts incoming fuel into steam, a choke that controls the air-fuel ratio, a transmission, and a drum brake. The transmission system includes clutches, crankshafts, gears, pulleys, rubber belts or metal chains, and sprockets, which consist of a steel ball flyweight and a metal plate. Motorcycle electrical systems include batteries, ignition wires and coils, diodes, spark plugs, headlamps and taillights, turn signals, and horns. Cylindrical pistons made of aluminum alloy, preferably due to their lightweight and excellent thermal conductivity, are important components of the engine, comes with a cast iron piston ring. The crankshaft and crankcase are made of aluminum. The engine also usually includes a cylinder barrel made of cast iron or light alloy. Step 2. Manufacturing Process Raw materials, parts, and components usually arrive at the manufacturing plant by truck or rail every day. Materials and parts are delivered to the place of use or installation as part of the just-in-time delivery system planned by many factories. Manufacturing begins in the welding department where frames are computer-controlled from high-strength frame materials. The components are made of tubular metal and hollow metal shells made from sheet metal. Various sections are welded. This process includes manual, automatic, and robotic equipment. In the plastic sector, small plastic resin pellets are melted and injected into molds under high pressure to form various plastic body trim parts. This process is known as injection molding. Plastic and metal parts and components are painted in the painting department's booth using a process called powder painting. The powder coating device acts as a large spray coating machine and evenly distributes the paint throughout the metal frame via a pressurizing system. The painted parts are sent to the assembly department via an overhead conveyor or traction motor, similar to a ski lift traction rope, where they are attached to the frame of the motorcycle. Step 3. Motorcycle Engine the engine is mounted on a painted frame, and various other components are mounted when the motorcycle is sent to the assembly line. Wheels, brakes, wiring cables, foot pegs, exhaust pipes, seats, saddlebags, lights, radios, and hundreds of other parts are mounted on the motorcycle frame. For example, a Honda Goldwing motorcycle requires about the same number of parts like a Honda Civic car. Step 4. Quality Management at the end of the assembly line, a quality control inspector visually inspects the paint finish of the motorcycle and the suitability of the parts. Quality control inspectors also feel the motorcycle with their gloved hands and detect irregularities and imperfections in the finish. Each motorcycle is tested on a dynamometer. Inspectors accelerate the motorcycle at 0 to 60 miles per hour. During acceleration, dyno tests acceleration and braking, shift, wheel alignment, headlight and taillight alignment and function, horn function, and exhaust fumes. The finished product must meet international standards for performance and safety. After the dyno tests, the final inspection of the completed motorcycle is done. Motorcycles are framed and shipped to customers in North America and around the world. An Overview of Motorcycles 
As you might imagine, motorcycles have evolved from human energy-powered vehicles or bicycles. French bicycle maker Pierre Michaud and his sons Ernest and Henry first established the cranks and pedals, the forerunners of smart motors on their bicycles in 1861. A large factory in Bar-le-Duc, France. Michaud, LG, cooperated with Perrault, who invented a steam-powered motorcycle engine called Velo of Vapor, which was patented in 1868. Sylvester Howard Roper in Roxbury, Massachusetts pioneered a similar invention in the United States around that time. Besides, in 1879, Italy's Giuseppe Munagotti registered the first gas-burning internal agitation four-stroke engine for a new motorcycle, but his discovery survived only on paper. Meanwhile, two Germans, Dr. Nicolas Otto and Eugene Langen, were developing a four-stroke stationary engine powered by coal gas supplied from the main line. Gottlieb Daimler took his invention further by developing an engine powered by benzene. A gallon can carry about 20 miles of vehicle, so only a small tank needs to be attached to the machine. Daimler later abandoned the motorcycle business and devoted itself to another invention. Daimler Benz, the manufacturer of luxury Mercedes-Benz cars, was the first car on which his company was based. Several innovators improved these inventions over the next three decades, and in 1901, the machine considered the Swedish immigrant to the United States, Carl Hedström, developed the first modern motorcycle. Hedström is equipped with an Indian bicycle equipped with a 1.75 horsepower single-cylinder engine, and the legendary Indian motorcycle was born. In 1903, several other U.S. manufacturers introduced similar models, including Harley-Davidson, which is synonymous with motorcycles. William Harley and Arthur Davidson were Milwaukee students when they built their first motorcycle on a lathe borrowed from a pattern. Both toolmakers, Davidson's brother, helped, as did Ole Evinrude, who later became famous as the designer and producer of outboard motor boat engines. By 1904, motorcycle manufacturers began building bulkier, stronger frames, stronger wheels, larger engines, and reinforced forks for bicycles, revealing a clear distinction between motorcycles and bicycles. Around this time, sidecars mounted on lightweight tubular frames that extended from the main frames of the motorcycle began to spread. Based on similar accessories for bicycles, this device allowed motorcycle drivers to carry passengers. By 1905, the focus was on power, and manufacturers began to upgrade their engines. That year, Hedstrom built a machine boasting a 500cc twin engine with throttle and ignition twist grip controls. That same year, we saw the development of free engine devices that facilitated the start and start of machines and variable gears that facilitated use on hills and at low speeds. Subsequently, chain drive was carried out, and production of the motorcycle currently in use began. Motorcycles continued to grow in popularity for decades, although civilian production declined during World War II. However, during World War II, after the paratroopers landed, it became necessary to use a lightweight, foldable model. Royal Enfield created the Flying Flea model for this purpose, and Excelsior devised a well bike that fits in a small airdrop container. Well bike was later sold to the public as a corgi, creating the popularity of post-war scooters, especially in Europe. The 1950s were considered the golden age of motorcycles, and their use was popular with popular culture celebrities such as James Dean in the movie Rebel Without a Cause. The United States and Europe dominated the motorcycle industry until 1960. At that time, Japanese manufacturers such as Honda, Yamaha, Suzuki, and Kawasaki attracted the attention they've maintained to this day. To be precise, it was the Europeans who took the lead in developing the motorcycle in the early 20th century. One Englishman blazoned his countrymen who loved the cycle because they appreciated mechanical things. However, Americans enjoyed their motorcycles as well. An American gentleman could have purchased his homegrown motorcycle manufactured. In 1911, by the Hendy Manufacturing Company of Springfield, Massachusetts, Hendy made early American motorcycles, which featured Native American names indicating a proud ruggedness. Red with gold striping, this one-cylinder 3.5 horsepower loop-framed cycle weighs 140 pounds, has a wheel diameter of 23.5 inches, and costs a whopping $225 back in 1911. Founded in 1901, the company ceased operation in 1953. However, Indian motorcycles are still beloved enthusiasts who claim that there are still 50,000 Indian motorcycles on the road. Indian bikes can reach 60 miles per hour, but the handbook warns riders not to exceed 10 miles per hour. These early handbooks are full of advice and etiquette for motorcyclists. Do not ride on jewelry sometimes with the muffler open. Noise scares horses and worries sick and nervous people. Don't run away in the event of an accident. 
Don't ride a motorcyclist stuck next to a vehicle saying rattle and may have the same problem someday. Let us know about the video in the comment section below. Also, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative videos. See you in the next video.